Ooh, that's so hot. Yeah, that's hot. Well, after the bust of the Kasilov yesterday, checked the fish counts this morning, 100,000 fish went up the Kenai yesterday. So, as you can imagine, we're heading back down to the Kenai. Well, if you've watched the last couple videos, you know we have our spot on the river right now, and apparently it's open. Corner to the guys. Ethan, what's the report down there? It's open. Yeah, all right. We're gonna be fishing the same spot we have the last four times we've come here. <laughs> hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hey, where's the space you were talking about? Oh, uh, I don't know. Our normal spot is not open, so we're currently scoping out a new one. As we're here walking around, just realized that I left my filet mat at this filet table the other day. And I'm going to check if it's still there. It is, oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> Someone's actually using it right now. <laughs> that is yeah. so funny. How'd you guys do? Uh, the other- Did you guys fish today yet? No, we just got here. Oh, and God. I just remembered I left this. That's so funny. You don't gotta clean it off. I'll get I'm it away. that it's still there. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, there's no way anyone would take it. I mean, it's a community filet table. It kind of is, right? But it is a nice one. That's fine. It needed some seasoning. It needed work on. <laughs> it's got, it got some more today. We're only halfway through. Nice. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> well, good luck the rest of the day. That is so funny. What are the odds the same guys using it were the ones that were flying with us the other day? On. Oh, and off. Oh, man, we got so lucky that we came back down here because everyone that was here left. So now we got our spot. Let's see how long this takes. I imagine it won't take very long at all. On. Two flips is all it took. Oh, came off. Let's see how much longer it takes again. Oh my God, they're doubled up down there. The pigs. Yeah, this is gonna be another one of those days. Oh, oh, oh. Getting her done quick. Ah, oh. Ethan's in his honey hole. Feels good to be back. There's one. I'm on. I'm on. Stay right here, buddy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a nice, nice starter fish. Oh yeah, oh, he's good. Yes, sir. Oh my God, look at that fish, dude. Let's go. Easy, lost the rock. Yeah, toss me the bat. There we go. Oh no, easy. There we go. Absolute Kenai River donkey right here. Jeez. I got a fish on. Dude, it's another donkey too. Oh, buddy. That is a pig. Get it, get it, get it. Oh. What in the world? Other fish just started freaking out. Come get him, buddy. Come get him. Yes! Oh my god. Look at that fish. Oh my god. That's definitely my biggest one of the trips so far. Can you hand me that bat? Look how he's hooked too. Freaking perfect. Gotta give this one a little extra. All right, let's get back in the water while these boys are running. Dude, guys, look. This is going crazy. Nice. Coming up. Still on? All right, hold on. Let me get this fish out the net. Yes, sir. Good fish. Nice. Did you see that? What? I can kind of see it. Oh my god. I got another. 
Is that snag? <laughs> took off like it was. Oh, he just took off like he was, though. That's good. Oh, oh, oh! Holy shit. That thing just came jumping towards me. <laughs> oh my god, this is absolute mayhem right now. Dunzo. Thing hooked up? Hey. I like how Peyton doesn't say anything when he has a fish. I don't like it. I actually hate it. Walking around. Here, you can't help a man that doesn't ask for it. God dang. Good job. You're just walking up with a bent rod. And I'm like, what the hell is he dragging up with him? No excitement on your face whatsoever. Bunch of guy. The one one arm net job as he's holding a fish. Oh. Little trout. Oh no, it's a sockeye. Wow. There's one. Oh! Oh! That is a tank. Stay up here, buddy. Do not go down. Oh no. Hey, he's he's gonna have us battle him like the last one. Oh, he's coming good now. Oh my God. Oh my God, this thing's a beast. This guy might actually be able to get him. He's, he's back up, he's back up. He just went from all the way down the road up here. Oh, oh, I thought you had him, my bad. Nice net. Oh my god. What a beast. Got one. Dude, what in the world? I don't know. Ethan in front of you. Ethan's like. Trying not to get. <laughs> Am I still on you? He's behind me now. He's still behind you. He's coming out. He's right in front of you now. I'll see him there. It's going crazy. Oh. That is a donkey. Come here, buddy. What are you using that for? What's that for? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> just punches dirt. <laughs> the first one just punches straight dirt. Ready? That's your limit, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip him open in the net. <laughs> Come on. You weren't able to catch that? You're right, let's do it again. <laughs> what? Did you come out the net? Oh, oh. There you go. Oh my god! Oh, oh, yeah. Far is hooked on a donkey. Lucky dip. Lucky dip, that's what it takes. Such a lucky um, chewing gum gets you fellas. It's <laughs> a lucky chew. Oh! oh Let's go! Stuck. Look at those shoulders, dude. Yeah. Put you in some lucky chewing gum. This is what you get. <laughs> it's hilarious because we never took the plastic off this and now the plastic's just ripping off. 
as we're hitting fish. Come here, you big guy. Beautiful. Get big guy. Smack. Smack him. Hit him. Yeah. You're gonna wet. Dunzo. Hey. Oh yeah. I got you, Peyton. Going back up. Sure you want that? What what? <laughs> you think I can't handle that smoke? Well, just the hook flying out. It's probably not the It's fine. I got glasses. Best practice for netting fish. Sorry. What? The limit cam. This is the limit cam right here. Net man and cameraman. Oh, there's a fish jumping on there. Time netter. Oh yeah. That's my favorite part of the day right here. Old net cam. Oh, it's a donkey. Ooh. Got him. Oh. Okay, that's probably the new biggest of the day right there. Wow. Holy smokes. Unreal. Oh, Bart. Let's go. Where's that net? Saw that net for sure. Yeah, bring up, yeah. Bring your rods up downstream for me. Over here this way. Perfect. Got him, let's go. Dude, another sure. donkey. Can you say that again one more time? Just gonna listen to Daddy Sharp, tell me how to do it. I swear if Peyton loses another fish. I'm just gonna piss in my pants. He's about to pee himself right now. Easy. Peyton, how's it feel to be done? Can't wait to take a piss. <laughs> Been holding it for like an hour and a half. Wait for that last fish. It's a chandelier of silver right there. What a waterfall. I don't know that waterfall's on the river. Glacier, glacier runoff. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> That's the limit. There we go. How's it feel? Great. Thanks, you've <laughs> been sharp. <laughs> My God. Captain? Yeah. Fish whisper my fearless so. leader. My captain, my guy. And goes front and back. Maybe good. Get it, get it. Get it. Now the real work begins. Gotta get all these boys filleted up. Extra shot. Are so big, <laughs> I can barely get through them. Are you Goodness. I thought Ethan was about to start making out with this fish. <laughs> it's so pretty. Just might have. See the lips on that thing? Oh yeah. He's asking for it. Yes. The ribs are gone. Look how thick that foot is. Hold on. Look at that fillet. And the belly on it. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Been able to go to the gym in a couple weeks. It's time. Oh, there the we best, go. This is the best part of my day. Hmm. Can't beat it. Better in the sun, but. Oh, just that bite. Mm. <laughs> oh. oh. Custom right. Seafood's letting us down again. Making our daily trip there. This is the second time we've been turned down. They're not taking any more fish. Custom Seafood's, I want to see more hustle out of you guys. Be better. So I just wanted to give a little behind the scenes look 
of what we're doing right now. So all the processing places in Soldatna and the Kenai area that's near us are packed full right now. And they're not taking fish, or if they are taking fish, it's taking 48 hours to get it done. So we're having to bag all of our own fish because we don't have a processor or a vacuum sealer. So we got all these fish right here that we're putting in these Ziploc bags. Ethan's filling up a cooler right now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna dunk the fish in the cooler, full water, shut it off, let them air out to dry for a little bit so they don't freeze together when we put them back in the freezer. And that's how we're gonna have to take some of this fish home. All the other fish that we've had, there's only 70 pounds of it. All the other fish we've had, we were able to get it to a processor and we got it back in sealed. All right, so I got all my salmon and steelhead right here, cut and portioned up the way I want it. Now I'm just letting some of the moisture get soaked up by these paper towels and let it defrost a little more. And next, we're gonna make our dry brine for what we're gonna brine these in for the next 24 hours before we smoke it. Okay, so for my dry brine, I like to keep it really simple and I just do one part salt to one part sugar, which all that just means is that however much salt I have, I'm just gonna double that in brown sugar. And usually I don't actually do one to two. I norm it normally ends up being like one part salt to like two to two and a half times brown sugar just because I like my salmon a little sweeter. So there goes about two pounds of coarse pink Himalayan sea salt. So that means now I'm going to be adding about four to four and a half, five pounds of a combination of brown sugar, dark brown sugar, and light brown sugar. So if I wanted to follow the true one to two part rule, I should have stopped at about six pounds. I added a little bit more than four pounds of brown sugar, and now I'm just gonna mix this up. So there's no way of knowing of how much of this mixture to make before you start layering the salmon in the mixture. I'm just guesstimating I'm gonna need about six pounds. I might not need all this, which I'll just save for the next time I smoke, or if I have to, I have a little bit of leftover stuff that I can make more of a mixture. All you're looking for is to cover up all of your salmon, top and bottom. All right, so I'm down here so you can see everything I'm doing, but from this point on, it's actually really simple. I'm gonna take some of this brine and I'm gonna layer it down in the bottom of the bucket first. And once I got a nice layer, I'm gonna spread it out just like that. And then now, I'm gonna take my fish and layer it right on top. And once I got a nice layer of fish, I'm gonna take my brine and layer another one on top. And I'm gonna keep doing this over and over and over again until I run out of fish. All that fish is nice and covered up. So go on with the next layer. So I just ran out of brine, so I will be needing to make a little bit more of that salt and brown sugar cure to finish this batch off. You can see the huge color difference between the steelhead and then the sockeye salmon that we caught from Alaska. There we have it. Alrighty, so now I'm going to throw a lid on this and then put it in the fridge for the next 24 hours to brine. But this fish is gonna expel tons of moisture. So around like the 12 hour mark, I'm gonna pull this back out and I'm gonna drain out some of that liquid and then throw it back in the fridge to finish brining. Mustache man is gonna be proud of me for using my overpriced Yeti bucket for once. All right, good morning. So I got my bucket of fish right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse off each one of these pieces of fish, and then I'm gonna set them over here on this wire rack. Just using cold water and just giving it a quick little rinse off. Don't let it sit in that water for too long. Here's a piece of steelhead. And then I'm just gonna let it sit on this wire rack for about an hour until it gets a little tacky. It's kind of cool because you can see the obvious difference between the steelhead trout and then the sockeye salmon that we caught. So the salmon has been sitting here, just at room temp, just like this for about an hour now. So it's all nice and tacky to the touch. So the next one I'm gonna do is glaze it off with some honey. I'm mostly just using this. Well, one, it's gonna add some really nice sweet flavor. 
and then two, I'm using it as like a binder for the seasoning to stick to the fish. All right, so now that I got all this fish glazed down, I'm just gonna add some garlic salt and then some lemon pepper to it. And if you like a little kick, you can add some chili flakes. I usually go lighter on the garlic salt and then heavier on the lemon pepper. And now it's time to get everything on the smoker. with the neighbor because the neighbor was very nice very kind enough to let me use their smoker and all after all the stuff that I brined not everything could fit on the smoker so I made a little bit into jerky I just dehydrated it while I was smoking the other stuff but the rest of this is all smoked so we got some steelhead and then we got some of the sake right here now I didn't want to get too in depth about time and temperature for smoking this stuff because Honestly, you can do it any way you want. I today did it about four or five hours on the smoker at about 150 to 200 degrees. You can do less than that for longer, or you can do higher temp for a short amount of time. You just gotta kind of play around with it and see what you like. I normally just keep going until it kind of looks like this. Once it looks like this, I've never had a problem with it being bad. I've always thought it tasted good. So, I've already tried some of the sockeye. I'm gonna try some of it again, just to get a good comparison, but I'm gonna try some of the steelhead right now. I'm trying some of that belly portion. Belly portion is always my favorite. Wow. Holy crap. I don't have to try some of that sockeye, but that almost tastes just as good as the sockeye that I had earlier. Let me try some of this though now. Okay, now that is really good also. I think I was just shocked by how good that steelhead was gonna be. I did not think it was gonna be that good. But that is right up there with some of the sockeye. The sockeye I'd give a, a slight, slight advantage to, but man, that that is shocking right there. And then right here is a little bit of that salmon jerky that I made. Again, super good. I think you taste a little bit more of the fish when you jerky it, just because it's not doesn't have that intense smoke flavor, but still really, really good. And a lot easier to make in my opinion, because you just gotta throw it in the dehydrator and not smoke it for so long. All in all, can't go wrong with smoked fish, smoked salmon or trout in this case. One of my, some of my favorite ways to do to it is obviously just to eat it. I also like to put it on Ritz crackers. You can make it into a salmon dip or a trout dip, or one of my other favorite ways to make it is I'll break it up into little pieces and put it in an omelet. For breakfast. But yeah, other than that, I don't really got much more to say other than this steelhead is taking my breath away right now. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed smoked salmon. Look how oily that is right there. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, catch you on the next one.